Hi friends. Well, I'm making one of those essential trips. Haven't been out of the house for four days. On my way to Walmart. Gotta eat. The Hakaranda is in bloom. Somebody uh, in a comment the other day asked me, how do you spell that? It's uh, J-A-C-A-H-A-R-A-N-D-A. -A -A. Starts with the J, and J's in Spanish are pronounced like an H in English, so it's Hakaranda, but it starts with a J. Anyway, um, got to tell you, going out to Walmart today feels a little bit like Russian roulette. You can see there are people out. Um, traffic's a little lighter. Hopefully some Guadalajarans are not coming down as much. Uh, I'm not seeing social distancing here as much as I'd like. I think uh, people here have not gotten the message yet. The government has made some rules, but I don't see a lot of people wearing masks. I don't see a lot of people staying away from each other. There was one lady with the mask. And then over here on the left is a bunch of people in a store. All together. Not distancing, distancing themselves whatsoever. I guess you can look at that uh, positively in one way, and that would be that um, people don't know of other people who are sick here, so they don't seem to be aware or paying attention if they are. But it scares me. Uh, I have never been a doomsdayer or believed in an apocalypse on its way. Uh, I've never been a prepper. But I gotta tell you, it's starting to make some sense. It's going to hit here, and we are 35 miles out of a city of 5 million. Guadalajara is the second largest city in Mexico. They already have cases up there. They have cases uh, in Hospital Civil. Ooh, watch it. Hey, there's my coffee guy. We always wave at each other. <laughs> uh, I think I started to say I'm getting very worried about this. Well, Lynn and I are socially distancing ourselves as much as possible. I've said this before, Lynn has not been out of the house since we returned to Mexico on March 7th. Well, let's talk about something better than coronavirus. Uh, my last video, that walk, that I took up in the mountains. I gotta do that again. Uh, I'm gonna do it again with a better camera. Well, maybe I'll wait till the rainy season because then it'll be lush and green and beautiful. Wow. Uh, I hope you can see the hawk rondas over there. I'm gonna turn this a little bit. They are just beautiful this time of year. I don't yet see the yellow primavera blooming. Uh, um, I see one, I'll certainly point it out, but it is so striking when the purple jacarandas and the bright yellow primavera are blooming in the same picture. 
uh, I'll make sure I get you a picture of that. So this is La Floresta. Sometimes I repeat myself, but I have new subscribers who haven't heard this before. This place up here, right here, is called the Marriage of the Trees. Because the trees, the Indian laurel on each side of the street, uh, reach up to meet each other in an arch above. The Marriage of the Trees. It's referred to here locally in Ahihik. Walmart is right here at the uh, end of the Libramento. Libramento is a bypass that skips Chapala coming down from Guadalajara to come to Ahihik. AutoZone. It appears that Walmart's about as busy as usual. Well, there's a couple of expats with uh, masks on. So, we go. Well, let's see what we got going on here today. Last time I was in here, the toilet paper there on the right was a little scant, and now there's lots of it. Those are paper towels there. Lots of toilet paper there on the right. The last time I was in here, that shelf on the left, uh, paper uh, napkins, was empty. Uh, you can see I have toilet paper in my cart there. Big stack of toilet paper there. The yellow stuff is also toilet paper. I think everybody bought toilet paper two weeks ago and nobody's going to buy it again for a month. I have my GoPro uh, on the back of the cart here with magnets and it's shaky. I didn't realize I probably have a cart with a flat wheel and I didn't know that until I was editing here. but. Sorry about the shake. Um, also, every time I put, there, I just put spaghetti in there. And every time I put something in the cart, it shakes the cart, or shakes the camera, I mean. So anyway, um, it's gonna be like that. Sorry. Wow, did you hear that sneeze? That's like as scary as a gunshot. They are stocking shelves here in every aisle. There's big piles of stuff, and so I guess the distribution to Walmart is working well so far. I have to turn down the audio on this because they're playing music in Walmart and two videos ago I did that uh, video about them the band playing out in my street at 10 o'clock at night well it turns out that the some of the music they were playing was a very famous and well-known um, song here in Mexico and I got a copyright strike on my YouTube channel which means that I'm sharing my uh, advertising revenue with the guy who wrote the song. I'm not terribly upset about that. I could contest it, but, well, number one, I don't do this YouTube channel for the money, and number two, we're probably talking about less than $2 worth of revenue, so <laughs> I just found it kind of interesting. But copyright strikes are not a good deal if you're a YouTube creator, so I'm turning down the volume here 
when there's music playing in Walmart. I just hope that the guy that wrote the song is appreciating the revenue that you and I are sending his way, me for making a video and you for watching the ads. Uh, speaking of, I have a lot of YouTube friends who depend upon their income from YouTube and there are two things that go first in this pandemic crisis, uh, jobs and advertising budgets. Revenues for YouTube creators seems to be down 82%. Please watch the ads. I don't care about mine, but for those YouTubers that you enjoy and support, um, watch the ads for them. This is the only shelf I saw in Walmart today that was totally empty. This is where you would find the dried beans or peas and things like that. Uh, I think uh, when the apocalypse actually gets here that food is going to be the new uh, currency. So the one thing I did find there was a bag of lentils and I bought it. We do like lentils. I'll take them to the gas station to trade for gas when the bad times come. Excuse me, fellas. Certainly. Well, I wanted to give you guys a taste of what it's like to go shopping at Walmart here in Ajijic, Mexico. Things have changed. I filmed this about a week ago, around uh, March 30th, 31st, and more people are now wearing masks. Um, people seem to be socially isolating themselves more, and it's very comforting to me that I have now found out that I don't need to go to Walmart anymore for the next few weeks or for the unforeseeable future because I have downloaded onto my iPad an app that allows me to shop at Walmart and have things delivered to my home. Nearly anything in the store um, can be purchased online and uh, delivered the next morning at your house here in Ajijic. So that gives us another level of ability to socially isolate ourselves. It's also uh, a decision Lynn and I have made. We're going to pay the maid a month in advance and tell her not to come for the next month. Just um, eliminating one more opportunity for the virus to come and visit us here as we isolate ourselves in our home here in Ahihik. Thanks for watching today. Be safe, be healthy, stay home, be careful. I'm, I'm hopeful today. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.